Well, speaking of The Last of Us, we get the confirmation that we all kind of expected just based off of the banger numbers that it's been half the show has been having and that is that the last of us will be getting a season two on hbo max and more importantly it will be an adaptation of the last of us part two video game now i know some people are immediately freaking out about that because uh the second last of us is just a just a tad bit controversial but I think this can work and actually fix some issues that people had with the second one. Now, I'm going to try and tiptoe around this as carefully as I can so I don't yeah. spoil season one and season two for Josh. I am not a fan of Last of Us Part Two. I think on paper, the story is a good idea and I get what Neil Druckmann is going for, but I think the big crucial error that they made was the order in which events happen. Of uh, something yeah. critical happens. You and I have talked about it v- vaguely. Something critical happens that puts the story in motion. I okay, cool. And then something else very critical happens halfway through. That halfway through event in my book needed to happen a whole lot sooner and run parallel to the other story. That Fair. way, you're emotionally engaged in the second storyline as much as the first one and you get much more of i think what they're going for which is like how far is too far um i think that can work it's just you needed to rearrange it a little bit because the choices that they made in the part two i think put them behind the eight ball for the rest of the story just because you have so many people that can't get specific events out of their head and rightly so um I wasn't a fan of it for a couple different reasons. The story, um, the game almost punishes you if you're bad at stealth, like me. So, like, if you're bad at stealth, you kind of have to put some dogs down, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Maybe because I'm too human. Um, And I... It didn't feel as... Like, it does, but doesn't feel as personal. Like, the first game is get character that you don't care about but will end up by the end of the story from point A to point B. Cool. There's a lot more going on in Last of Us 2, and I get that the sequel should expand the world a little bit more, but um, if the direction of Season 2 is anything that like Season 1 to go by, I have faith that they can kind of win some of the fan base back. But again, without dipping into spoilers, we're going to have to relive the ugliness that is The Last of Us 2 video game as soon as they cast Abby for the show because you're going to get a whole bunch of really, really angry people that come out of the woodwork and just go, oh, Abby, 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 we know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen. And just like, let the story play out first. Yeah. If we're going to have a Last Jedi situation all over again of every once in a while something will come up that reignites that whole debate. I'm just like, can we just... Agree to disagree on things, because The Last of Us Part Two got so ugly for so long, it was either you love and defend this movie with every fiber of your being, or you're like me, of, it's a beautiful game, beautiful gameplay, but I think you made some mistakes narratively that don't get me fully connected to your story. As someone that hasn't played the second one yet, and has kind of reached the expiration point of what they know about The Last of Us from a gameplay perspective, what do you hope to see from a Season 2, Josh? Um, obviously that kind of depends on where season one ends for us. Uh, I am very lost as far as, or not lost. Uh, let's go, uh, foreign. Sure. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't know the details of the ending of the game for last of us. Um, so, but I, I, you and I had have talked a little bit about some of the, the events that happen in two. Um, so if that's the case, uh, I foresee them already laying the seeds. And I, to me, I think that th- that's what's important right now is that, first of all, it's even with the numbers as high as they were, it's pretty surprising for them to have revi- given it a season two after two episodes, which was incredible. It's so wild to me. Um, but that being said, uh, I feel that the, 
I have com- com- complete faith that they are taking into account the narrative across both games. And so there's going to be some hints to stuff that happens in game two in game in season one. I would not be surprised if that happens. I think they're building a, this across uh, doing two seasons so that the season of the season finale of two really feels like a completion of the show rather than just, all right, cool. Well, that was the second game kind of feeling, you know what I mean? I think also the difficult thing with the last of us part two was at least for me was where we come up. There's a lot of elements in the last of us part two that could easily fit in Last of Us Part 1, without delving into spoilers, yes. there is a lot of the narrative that is done in flashbacks, and I don't think, from a game perspective, that was the smartest decision from a TV show. You don't have to put those scenes in Season 2. You could put those in this season. Or yes. the other big issue that some people, myself included, had for Last of Us Part 2 was it felt like the Last of Us Part 3 for Last of Us Part 2 we never got. Like, there was a large stretch of time that it feels like certain characters have grown and evolved that we weren't a part of. I'm not saying that of just, like, I would have liked to have seen this. It's just, like, there's kind of this disconnect of, like, we keep going backwards in time for this narrative instead yeah, of going forward. Yeah. That why didn't we spend this backwards time just as its own standalone game type of thing? And then what happens in Last of Us Part Two can be this big emotional journey in part three yes. like it's it's so hard not to go into detail but just rearrange the pieces that are already on the board and i think you can really go along way in repairing the relationship that you have already kind of fractured with the fan base just like last jedi and rise of skywalker now they've said that they're going to do a last of us part three and i honestly have no idea where they go with the narrative but I think the potential is there and I trust the creative people because uh, people like to bag on Neil Druckmann a whole lot because of Last of Us Part 2 but so far he's done a great job with the show but also he has experienced TV people with him with Craig Mazin who's done a great job with the show so I think being a collaborative effort you can have Craig Mazin maybe tell Druckmann of like in this format like a TV format this is probably the best way to run things. I've put the, the yeah. pieces in this order because it's not a yeah. game and might flow a little better if we do this type of thing. Well, and I think if anything, these first two episodes have shown, the uh, first three episodes have shown us, Neil's okay with change as long as it makes sense and the it, it helps push the story forward in a way that is narratively interesting i think he is completely okay with with changes um uh, if anything oh, what, what what was it uh the, for those that aren't you know man anime nerds uh there's a show called the um the uh oh my gosh uh, first metal alchemist um the original run of the show like ended up outpacing the manga so it like the last like season or so of it is all like the writers just like doing whatever they want because they had no idea how it was going to end also game Um, of thrones yes uh so then they went back and remade it with brotherhood it's called uh, you know first first metal alchemist but brotherhood um and went along with the 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 manga and the changes were so significant but it makes it a better show i say that to say i think uh like i think neil absolutely is in the position to be like where he as a as a creator is very much you know what i'm okay with change i'm okay with uh and i'm aware of the the divisiveness of the of the second game um and i am aware of the changes that are going to need to go to happen going forward um so we'll see what happens obviously like uh, we've still got what like seven episodes left of see a season one um, so I'm not really in a hurry to see where we're going to go. Cause I'm really excited where we, where, where we are at right now. 